Hello, I'm Matt Griffin, Video and Social Media Manager for Evergreen Public Schools. Envision Evergreen, putting students first. It's all part of an effort to make sure our school buildings are best able to serve the academic needs of our students and prepare them for the jobs of tomorrow. I envision Evergreen. I envision Evergreen. I envision Evergreen. As a district that prepares students for the jobs of tomorrow as a district that provides 21st century learning tools. As a place where every student can succeed. Can succeed. Can succeed. But we're asking students to learn and succeed in a number of schools that have not kept up with the times. Some of our students are learning in schools built more than 50 years ago, and they're starting to show their age. Some schools have aging inefficient heating and cooling systems that get too hot in the spring and fall and too cold in the winter and are costly to maintain. Some schools, which opened in the 60s and 70s, have designs which carry noise, making it hard for teachers to teach and students to concentrate. Many schools were built before the widespread use of computers and aren't designed to accommodate 21st century learning tools and teaching techniques. At older schools, there's a safety issue. Entrances open into outside hallways, instead of forcing visitors to check in with the school office first. And many students are learning in costly to maintain portable classrooms away from the rest of the school. But we envision an evergreen, where every student has the chance to succeed in schools designed to help them reach their full potential. That's why Evergreen Public Schools is asking voters to approve a bond measure that will replace, enlarge, or improve every school in the district. The bond measure will replace five elementary schools, Sifton, Image, Ellsworth, Marion, and Burton, Weiss Middle School, and Mountain View and Legacy High Schools. In addition, the district will build a brand new elementary school to handle student enrollment growth near the intersection of Northeast 162nd Avenue and Northeast 39th Street. The bond would also make it possible to build a wing at Heritage High School to get students out of portables on the north and east side of the school. The construction of a new Burton Elementary School on land where the current district headquarters sits would lead to the construction of a new multi-purpose campus combining the specialized programs of 49th Street Academy, Transitions, and Legacy High School, and the relocation of district offices. To help future-proof existing buildings, every school in the district will see some sort of improvement from roof replacement and new heating and cooling systems to expanded covered playground areas at elementary schools, improved athletic facilities at the high schools, and improved safety measures at all of our schools, such as redesigning the main entrance to create safer, more secure schools for students and staff. The bond also calls for the installation of new lighting and sound systems in all of our high school auditoriums and new instruments for our music programs to replace aging ones that have seen decades of wear and tear. These bond projects would employ hundreds of local workers, which benefits our local economy. So, why now? One of the major reasons is cost. Right now, interest rates are at historic lows, while construction inflation is on the rise. Just last year, it went up 20%. So the longer we wait, the more expensive it will be down the road as our buildings continue to age and need improvement. But Evergreen won't be paying for this alone. Evergreen Public Schools will receive an estimated $95 million in matching funds from the state if the bond passes and impact fees from new local development. Evergreen Public Schools plans to save money with the installation of energy efficient heating and cooling systems, which will use less energy and require less maintenance. Design costs will also be lower, as the district is working with architects to come up with a modern, technology-friendly school design template that can be customized to fit unique site conditions and can be oriented to maximize natural light. These school design templates also help the district streamline operations and maintenance needs, saving money in the long run. Another reason for urgency is to reduce overcrowding and cut in half the nearly 400 portable classrooms in use throughout the district. So, how much will this cost? 
The formula is complex, but basically, for a median-priced home assessed at $250,000, the bond tax rate in 2019 would be $20 more per year than home and property owners are currently paying for past bond measures. But, when combined with other statewide education taxes, your overall school property taxes will actually drop in 2019. To get more information on the bond, visit the website on your screen. There, you'll get to see the numbers, what the bond would mean for the school in your neighborhood, and design concepts already in the works. I envision Evergreen. I envision Evergreen. Putting students first. Putting students first. Putting students first. As you just heard, if the bond measure is approved, it would allow Evergreen Public Schools to replace five aging elementary schools and build a new one to handle student enrollment growth. Anna, a fifth grader at Sifton Elementary School, shows us what it would mean for students and staff at her school. I envision Evergreen. I envision Evergreen. Where every student, where every student can succeed. Can succeed. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm a fifth grade student at Sifton Elementary School and I want to tell you why this is a great place to learn. Each day, nearly 500 students go to school here. The dedicated teachers and support staff use hands-on lessons and individual instruction to help make students into lifelong learners. Our principal, Mrs. Mitchell, says Sifton has been a cornerstone of the community for decades. Families have been going here to school for generations. It's really exciting to see grandparents come back enrolling their grandkids and talking about their special memories they had of going to school here. Uh, just like having kids from Heritage High School come back and volunteer in our classrooms, it's just a really special, caring place. Sifton opened its doors in 1958. This makes it one of the oldest schools in the district. That means there are some issues that need to be addressed. The biggest issue at Sifton is space, or the lack of it. Sifton was built for a much smaller school community. This was a building built probably for 400 kids. We're at 500 now. There were originally 17 classrooms. We have 24 classrooms just meant for student learning. Of course, we then need a gymnasium and a library and a music room. Our music room is located in a portable. Our gymnasium is shared with our cafeteria. Uh, it's, it is not a facility that supports the learning for all kids. Get this, more than half of the students at Sifton attend classes in portables. They are not energy efficient and were not wired for modern technology. They do not have restrooms, so students have to go back and forth to the main building to use the facilities. We get to use computers to help us learn, but this school wasn't really wired for modern technology. Another issue is our old heating and cooling systems. Listen to this. That's a noise common in almost every classroom at Sifton. The heaters are so old and make so much noise, it's hard for teachers and students to concentrate. Evergreen Public Schools is asking voters to help fix these problems with the bond measure on the February 13, 2018 ballot. If voters approve the bond, a more modern, tech-friendly Sifton would be built on property right next to the current school. It would get all of the students into one main building and out of those portables. That would make the school safer and more secure for students and staff. It would also mean more modern classrooms better suited for flexible learning environments and individual instruction. The district would also install cost-saving heating and cooling systems to help save taxpayer money in the long run. One thing that won't change is all the great learning that takes place here. I hope you enjoyed learning about my school. Visit the website to learn more about the school bond. I envision evergreen. I envision evergreen. Yeah, visual evergreen. Putting students first. Putting students first. Putting students first. Mm -hmm. 
Another school on the replacement list is Ellsworth Elementary School. Christopher, a fifth grader at Ellsworth, takes us on a tour. I envision evergreen. I envision evergreen. Where every student can succeed. Can succeed. Blends that I think of us. Hi, I'm Christopher, a fifth grade student at Ellsworth Elementary School, and I want to tell you why this is a great place to learn. Each day, more than 400 students attend school here. The dedicated teaching and support staff help us learn new things through hands-on lessons and individual instruction. Each year, we have Ellsworth Pride Night. It's a chance for students in every grade to showcase songs, skits, talents, and other student learning. We also have a school community resource center where families can get food from our pantry, clothes if they need them, and learn how to access other important community resources. This is Mrs. Millar. She started as a substitute teacher here and then became a first grade teacher at Ellsworth in 2001. Coming to Ellsworth to substitute teach, I immediately felt welcome and at home, and Ellsworth is just a true neighborhood school, which makes it um, special. But as much as we love our school, there are some things that could use some updating. Ellsworth opened in 1958. That makes it one of the oldest schools in the district. That means it was built before the use of computers in school classrooms. And the wiring needed to make classrooms more tech-friendly came well after that. And take a listen to this. That's a noise common in almost every classroom at Ellsworth. Old, inefficient heating and cooling systems that make so much racket. It's sometimes hard for students to concentrate and teachers to teach. This room is our gym, our cafeteria, and our auditorium. And it's really too small to be all of those things. Not only that, but the old heating system strains to keep the room cool in the spring and warm in the winter. One day during last year's really cold winter and after the heat was on all night, it was only 42 degrees in here. Our gymnasium is also our lunchroom, so that is extremely impactful when it comes to not only scheduling, but um, how it gets cleaned and prepared after lunchtime or breakfast time for gym classes. So being able to have a separate cafeteria and gymnasium would really be important for a new school. If voters approve a new school bond on the February 13, 2018 ballot, improving the gym and cafeteria is just one thing we'd like to fix. If the bond passes, it would allow Evergreen Public Schools to build a more modern, tech-friendly Ellsworth on property right next to the school. A new Ellsworth would have fewer exterior doors, making the building more safe and secure for students and staff. It would also help us get rid of the costly to maintain portable classrooms where some students attend class. A more modern classroom design would also have more storage space for teaching materials and better accommodate digital learning technology. The district would also install more energy efficient heating and cooling systems to help save taxpayer money in the long run. And of course we'd get rid of all those clanking sounds in our classroom. But a new Ellsworth would preserve the most important thing, a school community where students love to learn. I hope you enjoyed learning about my school. For more information about the school bond, please visit our website. I envision Evergreen. I envision Evergreen. Putting students first. Donde ponemos los otros estudiantes primero. Putting students first. Putting students first. Another elementary school that would be rebuilt with the passage of the school bond is Marion Elementary School. Just wait until you see what students and staff have to go through during lunch. I envision Evergreen. Yo visualizo a uh, Evergreen. I envision Evergreen as a place where every student, como un lugar donde cada estudiante can succeed. Can succeed. Hi, I'm Molly. 
And I'm Kayla. We're fifth grade students here at Marion Elementary School. And we want to tell you why this is a great place to learn. Marion first opened its doors for students in 1968. Since then, thousands of students have gone to school here. They're taught by a dedicated teaching and support staff that works to help students become lifelong learners. <laughs> we also get to use computers to help us learn. It's part of Evergreen Public Schools' one-by-one -one digital learning initiative. This is Ms. Walton. She's a teacher here. We asked her what makes Marion such a strong school community. Oh, it's definitely the kids and the families. This is a great community and the kids just love being here and um, the families love to send their kids to us. And the staff's wonderful too. It's really a great place to come every day and it just brings me joy and fills my bucket. But there are challenges at Marion. Many of them have to do with the size of the school and how it's outgrown the number of students it was designed for. Some students have to walk through the rain to get to their portable classroom. And that's not the worst of it. Our gym space isn't really big enough to accommodate a cafeteria, so students have to eat their lunches in their classroom. Sometimes that means walking from the cafeteria back to the class in the rain. Students do their best to keep the classrooms clean but sometimes there are spills and things can get messy. We asked our principal, Mr. Hill, to talk about another problem for teachers. Our classrooms lack storage. Um, we have um, old bookshelves that are attached to brick walls that often aren't able to remain attached to the, to the walls, so teachers aren't able to store items uh, on the bookshelves. Also cabinetry within the classrooms and around our school um, is very limited. We have uh, attic storage space that houses our HVAC system. So we have books and student manipulatives right alongside our HVAC systems. The school design also makes for a large number of outside doors, which isn't ideal for student safety. That's why Evergreen Public Schools is asking voters to approve a bond measure that would replace Marion and a number of other aging schools. If approved, a newer, more modern Marion Elementary would be built on the property right next to the school. The new school will help us get rid of all those portables, including this one, one of the oldest in the district. Our principal reminded us that his wife went to school in this portable more than 30 years ago. Our new school would also be more tech friendly as Marion was built before the use of computers in school classrooms. Hola. While we envision what a new school would be like, we know one thing wouldn't change all the learning that takes place here. God bless Massachusetts. We hope you enjoyed learning about our school. For more information about the school bond, please visit our website. I envision Evergreen. Yo visualizo Evergreen. I envision Evergreen. Poniendo los estudiantes en primer lugar. Putting students first. Putting students first. Image Elementary School has among the highest enrollment numbers in all of Southwest Washington. We asked Jensen, a fifth grader at Image, to take us on a tour. I envision Evergreen. I envision Evergreen. Where every student. Where every student. Can succeed. Hi, I'm Jensen, and I'm a fifth grade student at Image Elementary, and this is a great place to learn. Each day, nearly 700 students attend school here. That makes it one of the largest elementary schools in all of Southwest Washington. Students from kindergarten through fifth grade come here each day ready to learn new things. Who can tell me something new you learned today about bats? Mrs. Bennett has been a teacher at Image for 12 years and says Image is just a great place to be. Our community is amazing. The staff is so supportive. They come together and they want to do everything that's best for the children. Um, the students come in, they're ready to learn. They want to be here. 
At Image, we also learn values like giving back to our community. This is just some of the food donated for our canned food drive. Each year, we hold canned food drives to support Image families. The school also hosts several Eagle Family Nights, like our recent Polar Express Family Night. It's a chance for families to get together and celebrate student learning and our school community. But as great as Image is, there are some things that could use some updating. All the fifth grade students at my school have to attend class in portables like this. And that's because of the main issue at Image, the school is bursting at the seams. Inside, what were once hallways or common areas have been partitioned into classrooms. We don't have the work pods in the middle of our building anymore because those are now turned into classrooms. And so since we don't have those options available, we are really restricted to our own classroom and we can't work throughout the building to work on our project-based learning. Many of the classrooms at Image have very little or no outside light. Our gym is also our cafeteria. And with so many students, some gym classes need to be put on hold during lunchtime. Evergreen Public Schools is asking voters to help fix these problems by approving a new school bond. If approved, the district would build a new Image Elementary just a few blocks away, at the corner of Northeast 52nd Street and Northeast 131st Avenue. The district would build a more modern and tech-friendly school. It would be better suited for personalized learning and flexible learning environments. There would also be classrooms with more natural light, which studies have shown is better for student learning. The district would also install energy efficient heating and cooling systems to save money for the taxpayers in the long run. Yes! One thing wouldn't change all the learning that takes place at this great school. I hope you've enjoyed learning about our school. Please visit our website to learn more about the school bond. I envision Evergreen. I envision Evergreen. Yeah, I envision Evergreen. Putting students first. Putting students first. Putting students first. If voters approve the February 13th school bond, it would also allow Evergreen Public Schools to build a new Burton Elementary School. Sierra, a fifth grader at Burton, shows us what it would mean for students and staff, including several who have connections to the school dating back decades. I envision Evergreen. I envision Evergreen as a place where every student can succeed. Can succeed. Hi, I'm Sierra and I'm a fifth grade student at Burton Elementary. And I'm gonna show you why this is a great place to learn. Each day, nearly 400 students go to school here. All of the teachers and support staff work to help us become better students and learn to treat others with kindness and respect. Some of the teachers have a special connection to the school. One of them is Mrs. Swingley. Her mom was a teacher here the year Burton opened and now she's a teacher here. One of her daughters, Melissa, works in the library. Her granddaughter, Bella, is a student here. That's four generations of Swingleys that have a connection to Burton. I asked Mrs. Swingley why Burton is such a special place. I think the Burton School community, the staff here is amazing. It's a joy to come to school and uh, interact with the people that are here and our students that are here. And get this, Bella's teacher, Mrs. McBride, is teaching in the same class where she attended fifth grade. So there I am in fifth grade, 1980. She says students at Burton just really like to learn. The kids, we've got a really special group of kids here that are really loving and they just love coming to school and for a lot of them, school is their favorite place to be. But what are some things that would make Burton an even better place to learn? This school was built in 1970 before students used computers to help them learn. 
and that means Britain wasn't wired to accommodate 21st century learning tools and teaching techniques. Another issue is a lack of storage space for the things teachers need to help them teach. Another issue is safety. Students are spread out in a number of buildings and portables and have to walk outside from building to building instead of having everyone in one main building with a secured front entrance. Evergreen Public Schools is asking voters to help fix these problems by approving a bond measure. If it's approved, a new Burton Elementary School would be built on property just a block away where the current school district headquarters sits. A new, more technology-friendly school would better prepare students for middle school and high school. It would help us get rid of all those portables. And it would also give students classrooms with more natural light, which studies have shown is critical for learning. The district would also replace our old heating and cooling systems with more energy efficient ones, saving money for taxpayers in the long run. One thing we would not change is the caring Britain school community. I hope you like learning about my school, home of the Burton Dragons. For more information about our school bond, visit our website. I envision Evergreen. I envision Evergreen. I envision Evergreen. Putting students first. Putting students first. For more information about how the school bond would reshape those schools we just mentioned, and for a list of bond-related projects at other schools throughout the district, be sure to check out our website, evergreenps.org forward slash envision.